Hi guys, it's me Cindy again. And um, I'm going to make this card with you. Uh, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I've got something else in mind. But I'm going to tell you all about that later. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to uh, try something out. Uh, my camera is uh, on my bookshelf uh, above me. And it films upside down. In my Windows Movie Maker uh, uh, program, I can turn the uh, video. But probably what will happen is what this word you'll see is not uh, straight <laughs> because it's gonna flip as well. So, but the positive side of it is you can see me uh, craft straight. So don't mind the uh, upside down words. Um, I will show you, tell you what it says when I stamp it. But this uh, says love you um, and I'm gonna tell you what I used for this card. I used a card base from Very Vanilla uh, 14 and a half centimeters by 21 centimeters scored at 10 and a half and I already folded it. So you're gonna need that. Then you can uh, need a piece of crumb cake uh, measuring 14 centimeters by 10 centimeters and then I took a piece of uh, cheap paper and uh, cut it at the same size. You, I'm gonna sh tell you why in a minute. Then you need a piece of ver very vanilla scrap and this is approximately uh, five and a half by six centimeters. It's for cutting out your heart. And then you need two pieces of very vanilla, uh, one by 7.2 centimeters, and this one is six and a half by one and a half centimeter. This is very vanilla as well. The only thing I did is took my uh, foam brush and sponged on uh, real red because I don't have real red cardstock. I thought I'd make my own. So that's what I did here, but I did that ahead of time to save some time uh, doing that. So that's what you need on paper. Then you're gonna need uh, the word, the stamp set, love you, and that's from uh, Bloom in Love. I'm not gonna turn it around. And that's here, love you. So I used that one and I already mounted it on my block. And then I also used this little heart here from the Coffee Cafe stamp set and I mounted that on my block as well. Then you're gonna need this uh, Stampin' Up embossing folder and it, this is the dynamic one, I believe. Pinewood Planks Dynamic Textured impressions yeah so what that means is this this one is a really thick heavy uh, embossing folder so you need one plate less when you uh, put it through your big shot so uh, keep that in mind when you use these ones the the normal uh, embossing folders from Stampin' Up you need two cutting plates but with this one one is enough because this is already really thick so you're gonna need that one. Then you're gonna need crumb cake, ink, and real red. And you're gonna need your sweet and sassy framelit dies from Stampin' Up, if you have them. And maybe you've got another hard die. It doesn't have to be Stampin' Up. The, these are the ones I have but if if you have other hearts in various sizes you can use that as well um, so I used the uh, second largest one and the fifth largest one so those two size sizes is what you're gonna need so that's for what what uh, things to use and now we're gonna make this card. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna uh, make uh, the heart, and cut out the heart in this piece. But what I'm gonna do is I'm cutting it out in the two layers and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. 
I'm going to cut out the heart first and then put it through the embossing folder. That's the easiest way to do this. So I'm going to get my cutting plate. I'm not going to get my big shot in the screen here. I've got it here on a cabinet. So I'm going to use it there. I'm going to show you uh, how to put it in your between your plates. I'm going to put it like this. These are completely the same sizes and then I'm going to line this up in the middle like that and a bit to the top and then I'm going to run this through my big shot. I'll be right back. I'm back <laughs> and it cut out the two hearts of both the papers and why I did that is because I want to uh, take this like a mask piece to put on top because when I was making the other card I thought it would be cute if I um, uh, did some hearts in here as well but then in the crumb cake uh, color but I really want to keep the shape of the heart because this one is gonna be raised up so it's nice if that's a uh, uh, in heart shape as well and so now I can stamp off on this paper. So that's what I'm gonna do. I hope it works but because I'm realizing now that this could be a little thick but we'll see how it works. We can put this one through the embossing folder now and I want my uh, planks to go that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my piece like this. So my stripes will go that way. I'm gonna put it through my big shot again. I'm back. And this is what it looks like when you're done. A really great impression. I really love this. The one thing I forgot when I made the first card, so I had to do it afterwards is take my ink and uh, put some ink on the raised edges. I forgot so I did it afterwards when it was already on the cart and you can see it's not really well done and I had some ink here on the piece so I just put some hearts to cover it up. So I'm gonna do that right now before I'm gonna put it on my card. Just took some ink blending tool and some sponge on it and I took my crumb cake and just really lightly get some ink on here. You can put it off a little bit if you want to and just go over like this. Let me just stay in frame here. So it's a lot easier this way because you can do it really really slow and light-handed. Can you see the color? I haven't put it here yet, but here. I hope you can see that on camera. That's that. And it's looking like this now. I hope the camera picks it up. It looks really pretty with the color on top. So that's that. I'm gonna keep my ink out because now I will uh, put the hearts in here. I'm gonna place my um, card, my extra piece, like how I'm gonna uh, put down this piece exactly at the same place and what I'm going to do now is just stamp my hearts, heart inside of this. Mm, I think I'm going to stamp it off once to get a lighter color. I have to pr press down a little bit harder on the edges because of the thick paper.
don't forget to stamp off in between. There's something on my stamp and I don't know what. Let me try again. It is a photopolymer stamp, so <laughs> when you miss the spot, you'll just go and uh, do a little bit more. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Put it up a little bit higher, so. Oh, well, that's no problem. I forgot to stamp off, but probably the other heart will be covering that, so not a real big problem. I have to <laughs> make sure I know what I'm doing. Oh, did it again. Well, doesn't matter. Mm, a bit heavy-handed with the ink, as you can see. <laughs> it's all over my block. So I have to be careful not to rock it. Another one not stamped off. Well, doesn't really matter. I'm turning my stamp as I go, so the hearts won't all be in the same direction. That's it. And you see the shape of the heart. Really cute. So, I'm gonna clean off my stamp now. I've got my stamping scrub at my side. I'm gonna clean it off right away. That's it. So, that's the crumb cake for now. I don't think I'm gonna, yeah, at the end, but no, I don't need it. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is cut out the other heart with my scrap, and that's this piece. So I'm gonna take this through my big shot. I'm gonna get it back out. Here I am again, and it's all cut out. What I'm going to do is keep my piece inside the frame because I can stamp off then. Now I'm going to take my real red ink and this time I'm not going to stamp off. clean it in between because I'm not paying attention to my inking. I have to do it carefully, but I want to do it too quick so my block is completely under ink and that's not what I want. I'm gonna do one more over here. And one more here and that's fine with me so clean it up right away and then there's my 
stamped heart. So that's that one. And now we're going to stamp this as we have my real red out already. So it's already mounted. I put it the strip, I'm putting the strip down with the stripes of my grip mat so I know it's straight and it's a little bit close to me because then I can see what I'm doing and um, when I lined up my uh, stamp I also put it on the grid so I know it's straight ink it up put away my moved on me a little bit so that's it just stamp it down and lift up. Uh oh, not good, not good at all. Let me see if I can line it up. If not, I can always stick the other side. No, that's not, that's not nice. So look, it's a bit double stamped. So I'm gonna take the other side and try again. Let me stamp straight. Hold it down for a little bit and yes, that's better. Clean off my stamp. Oh, sorry. Mm, do I need my red? I don't think so. So I'm gonna Put it away. Then next thing I'm going to do is make some flags of these uh, strips and I'm going to do that by snipping in the middle and then going in from the sides to the middle. Stampin' Up also has that triple punch, I believe it's called, but you can do this really easy yourself, so I'm not really wor worried that I don't have that one. Maybe it saves time, but this doesn't take a long at all. So I'm just gonna make my own flags like this. So this is the very vanilla piece I made red myself. So that's that one. And now we're going to do the same thing with this one. Well, I'm going to zoom out completely because I wasn't completely in frame, I think. So that's that. Do the same on this side, just a little bit in. You can make these banners as deep as you want them to be. That's up to you. I took them a little bit smaller this time. So that's it. Love you. And then these can be layered on top of each other. The only thing is when you turn over your piece because you stand it wrong, you can see the cut lines a little bit. So, well, that's done. Let me clean off my mess. And let's assemble this card. We can do that now. So, this piece is going to go up on dimensionals. And I ran out of them, so I'm going to take a new sheet of stamping dimensionals. I'm going to keep the sides when I'm needing them and on this piece the bigger ones are just fine so I'm gonna put them in the corners and then I'm gonna put one here to keep some strength there. What, I'm do, what I do with these 
things is press in the middle and then it will come up and you can take it off easily most of the time. <laughs> staying in frame. I'm not completely used to it. I haven't do done that many uh, videos like this. So, And now it's really important to line it up exactly where I want it to go because of the heart there. Well, I think that worked out fine. It's not completely straight, but well, it works. Then I'm going to put this heart in the center with some dimensionals as well. go. Try to put it as good in the center as you can. Doesn't that look cute? I really like the effect from the other hearts in the background. So now I'm gonna glue these two together and I'm gonna use my art glue glue. I love this glue. I know a lot of people from Stampin' Up! use um, Tombow, but I don't have that. So I use my art glitter glue to glue these pieces together. And go in frame. Just center this as best as you can. And with this glue you can have some moving around time before it sets in. So that's nice. It's really strong glue, this art glitter glue. I love it. I use it for my mini albums as well and it's really strong but sadly enough you can get it here in Holland so you have to buy it I bought it in the UK so you have to get it elsewhere and look at that cute card the only thing I added was some Spectrum Noir clear crystal glitter to the hearts. I'm not going to do the crumb cake cards, hearts, I'm just going to do the red ones and just color them in like this. And then I also, you have to watch it a little bit because this uh, will reactivate your ink so it will bleed in a little bit but that's not a real big problem. With those stripes you don't really notice as well. I hope you can see a little bit of the shimmer. I don't think so. Well, it's there. And I'm gonna do the same on the red piece underneath. I'm gonna give that some glitter as well. And this piece will definitely run in your pencil so you have to rub it off a little bit when you're done because look it's gonna get red because of the ink but that's no problem it's really easy fixed yeah now I'm gonna just rub it off and I'm not really noticing but you can get it off really easy so that's my card. I'm gonna flip it around now and I'm gonna try to stop it there to flip around so you can see really well what the text says. And this is the end result. I hope you like it. I'm not gonna put the hearts here as I did here because of the... Um, I don't have a mistake here. So <laughs> nothing to cover up. So this is what the first card looks like without the hearts in the back and 
the later on putting on the ink. And this is the second card. And here are the crumb cake hearts in the back. So, I hope you like this tutorial or no, it's not really a tutorial. It's more like a process video, sorry. I'm not a tutorial person. I, uh, I like making cards and I want to show you how I did them, but it's not a real tutorial. It's just a process video. I hope you like it and um, well, I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.